Good morning from Raleigh, North Carolina on Wednesday, October the 10th, 2018. Recording this video at approximately 6.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Remember to make all decisions solely based upon official National Hurricane Center forecast and official forecast put out by your local National Weather Service offices. So we are dealing with a Hurricane Michael, Major Hurricane Michael, that is approaching the Florida Panhandle and it is uh, strengthened into a category for hurricane overnight it has continued to intensify you can see here on the satellite imagery that it has uh, this infrared satellite imagery and you can see that it uh this very deep convection continues around the center and hurricane hunters actually found a closed eye wall overnight the storm had been kind of lingering along with a uh, partial eye wall so it was a very intense storm but then when that eye wall actually kind of closed off which is shown here by the uh, microwave imagery you can see the eye wall kind of constrict. This uh, starts at the uh, beginning of the day today and goes through. It loops through pretty quickly. But you can see how uh, there was this kind of discrepancy down here where there wasn't a full, you know, closed eye wall that was, you know, surrounding the entire, you know, center of the eye wall. I guess what I'm trying to say is it wasn't a complete eye wall, but now that the eye wall is, uh, is completely, you know, whole and it kind of constricted a little bit, that allows for the wind speeds to get even faster. You know, if you're stirring your pot of water, the faster you stir, the deeper that that eye goes. And if you have a complete, you know, rotation around, you can see the very rapid movement of these bands around the eye. You know, the more that that constricts, it's like the, the ice skater pulling in their arms and increases their angular momentum, and angular velocity. If you're spinning in a chair and you pull your arms in and legs in, you're going to spin a lot faster. You can kind of think of it that way with the eye wall constricting here. It's really, you know, spinning faster and really just kind of tightening. And unfortunately, this is all happening as it's approaching the coast. Um, a bit of an unprecedented event unfolding for uh, northwestern Florida here, especially the Panhandle, a Category 4 or 5 hurricane has never made landfall in the Florida Panhandle. Now, Florida is very prone to these storms, but the highest uh, intensity storm on, at least on written record since 1851, you know, hurricanes have been happening for hundreds of years, but uh, for our written record and, you know, our archives, uh, since we've been keeping them since 1851, has not recorded a uh, landfall in Category 4 or 5 hurricane, with Michael expected to be making landfalls a Category 4 somewhere around uh somewhere between Apalachicola and up here you know in fort walton beach area probably somewhere near the panama city beach area or port Sa port st joe a lot of coastal communities just like with florence and north carolina these kind of barrier islands a Destin island up here you know there's very populated areas uh where it's actually anticipated to make landfall i'll show this on the next map as well actually i guess i'll go ahead and jump over here to yeah, some cities do show up here. So this is, you know, the anticipated uh, landfall. So within the next 12 hours, the storm should be making a landfall. And this is the uh, latest National Hurricane Center track overlaid on this with a Panama City beach here. Uh, Panama City is in this little um, peninsula in here, just south of where it says Lynn Haven. Uh, you know, I think about 50,000 people live in Panama City Beach and Panama City proper area, so a very populated area there. Hopefully that population is down uh, due to some evacuations, but, you know, Mexico Beach, Port St. Joe, Apalachicola, Carabel, Sopchapi, uh, all, all of these cities, and especially in here where an uh, Apalachee Bay is, is one area that uh, has some extreme concern for storm surge flooding because not only is this area, you know, low marshland, very susceptible to flooding, but it's also a kind of a concave shape. So when you have all the water rushing in, you know, if you're in a bathtub sloshing to and fro, you know, if you pushing on that water forward, it's going to pile up in uh, one of the corners of the bathtub. And that's where the highest water level is going to be. So you have the initial wind blowing from Hurricane Michael up this way. And then you also have all the water funneling in from the coast. So a pretty uh, stark storm surge uh, signature here and, and a very a bad situation likely going to unfold and, and unprecedented in every sense of the word in terms of there's never been a storm that we've seen, at least in the past 150 or so years, that has had, you know, this type of storm surge in this area. Um, some intense storms have definitely made landfall here, but nothing at the intensity of a Category 4 and uh, the current size of Hurricane Michael. So that is something to watch. I'll share this link on um, uh, at the bottom of the description of this video, so you can also take a look at it to see a uh, more detailed look. But this is, you know, the, the storm surge map. But I want to jump over to the official National Hurricane Center forecast and highlight some impacts just for Florida and then for North Carolina, making this video a little bit shorter due to some um, time constraints. But, you know, the latest advisory as of 5 a.m. Eastern Time, a maximum sustained winds of 140 miles per hour, moving north at 13 miles per hour. I believe the central pressure was down to 937 millibars, so continuing to intensify. And if you look at the five-day track, it actually sends it all the way up here into the northern Atlantic, so it's very distorted. 
Um, you know, it really speeds up after it makes landfall, which is good news for the rainfall, but not uh, good news for anyone in Florida who still has to deal with this making landfall within the next 12 hours. So I'm actually going to shave off the track here and only go to three days so we can get a better look at what's going on closer to home. And here, you know, making landfall is a major hurricane within the next 12 hours. Uh, then going into Georgia still is a hurricane and then reaching North Carolina by tropical storm strength, bringing us some gusty winds and probably rain anywhere in the range of two to four inches with locally heavier pockets and locier, locally uh, lighter areas of rain, depending on where those heavier bands set up and where exactly the center tracks, the heaviest rain is going to be concentrated in that area. Uh, I guess I can kind of echo that with this rainfall map. So anywhere from four to six inches in this yellow band, this swath of yellow going up here, heavier pockets down here at the landfall location, and uh, actual rainfall forecast calling for a little heavier pocket up in north central North Carolina, where some of that heavier uh, rain may kind of linger for uh, several hours, but our bad day is going to be tomorrow here in North Carolina with our heavier rains and gusty winds. Um, but as far as you know, Florida, the impacts come today and then we'll quickly transfer up here for tomorrow. But then by sunrise Friday, everything's moved out. It'll be a windy, clear day with so much cooler air. We'll definitely be able to tell that there's been a pattern shift. Uh, so going back here, I want to go and wrap this video up. Just wanted to do a quick update. A very menacing look on satellite imagery uh, continues to intensify. So a very grave situation. Uh, you know, it's never good when you wake up to these storms and, you know, the satellite presentation intensifies and looks more daunting. We'll get a first look at the visible imagery when the sun comes up in a couple of hours uh, in this area, particularly sunrise. is about 20 minutes away here, but unfortunately um, not able to get visible satellite imagery for this video update. But uh, you can see it continues to strengthen, so we just have to monitor and watch and watch this unprecedented event unfold. Uh, so that's that's about wraps up this video for um, this time. I might do one later today. Uh, pretty swamped with uh, everything else going on, and um, you know, tracking these cyclones and and dealing with them in general to people in their path is very exhausting, as we saw with uh, Hurricane Florence. So, and just keep those people in your thoughts, and uh, to all those in the path, you know, Godspeed, and we will see how this event uh, goes down to the history books. But for now, I'm going to wrap this video up. Stay safe, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you in the next video.